Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I do beauty related content, but for today's video, I am going to be doing, I guess you can say a makeup tutorial, but at the same time, an eyeshadow tutorial, but at the same time, a review, because today I'm going to be reviewing the Naked Tutorials um, and Beauty Bay Collaboration Palette. And so it's just very pretty. Um, Let's just look at the inside before we start. That way you can see what we're working with. So I am turning this like this because it has two mirrors and I don't want to blind you guys. But these are the colors we're working in with today, as you can see right on my eyes. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I got this eye look, then yeah, please stay and watch. I already primed my eyes using the P. Louise. So now we're going to go into Slasher, which is that beautiful burgundy shade. I'm using an AOA Studio E132 brush. Oh, I know. I'm not using that brush. I'm using the Essence Smoky Eye Brush. This is the one I use with the purple. I confused it with the other one that I used the pink with. Going right into Slasher. And we're gonna apply this to the outer portion of our eye. And you can see right away the pigmentation is oh, so good. So I'm kind of creating like a little triangle here because that's the shape I want, like this one. I'm just taking a little bit inside, not too much, like right there, and I'm gonna blend it. Hey, AOA E135, it's a huge blending brush. So I'm gonna use it empty, like with like no product first, and then I'm gonna go back in with the same shade to blend it out. Now we're gonna go into blend and snap. Yes, and that is the bright pink shade. This shade is kind of like, it's it's very bubblegum pink and it's very like, not subtle, but kind of subtle. Like if you blend it out, it looks very subtle, kind of like this, but like when you pack it on, it could look really good. So I'm just placing it right next to um, Slasher. It's okay if it gets a little bit on top because we're gonna blend those two shadows together. So that's as much as I want. And then I'm gonna go in back with a little bit of purple to make it a little bit smaller. Cause I'm gonna put the orange here and then the yellow here. Speaking of which, let me try to put a little bit of yellow in the inner corner just to just because that's why I did the yellow first and I'm just gonna put a little bit here with my finger. Usually I use a brush, but right now I'm just doing it really quickly to map out how much yellow I want and then how much orange I want. Let's continue. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the pink. All right, moving on. I forgot to mention, I'm using the AOA Studio E132 brush and I'm just cleaning it off. I'm gonna be using this one for Blended and Snap and Redemption, cause those are really light shades so I can like easily get it off of the bristles of this um, brush. Yeah, going into Redemption, this is the orange shade and it's a little bit muted, but it's not bad. Like you can definitely pack it on, but it is um, like for me, yellow, Orange and pink are really light, kind of like pastel colors in a way, but they're still very pretty and you can definitely um, pack it on, but I wouldn't just put this alone in the crease. I would definitely um, put like a darker orange or a red or maybe like a brown that is like a warm tone brown and then blend it out with this one. Kind of think of it as in a transition shade, but the color actually shows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease, see if everything looks okay. If not, I'll just go back in and pack and blend and see if I can save the look if it doesn't look the way I want it to. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so to cut the crease, I am using a Wet n Wild small flat eyeshadow brush. And then I am using my Pooey Space. This is in shade 0.5. I 
think this cut crease does look a tad bit bigger, but it's fine. I think we can work with it. Um, we'll see. We'll see if they look good. So, but it's not, it's not bad, you know. I like the shape and everything. So, we're gonna go into Slasher. Are we going into Slasher? No, we're taking a mix. So, I am taking E136, I believe, brush. And we're gonna go into Slasher. And we're mixing it with 5AM, which is this brown, beautiful, warm tone. We're just mixing those two and adding them right here. Just to give a little bit of darkness to the outer corner. And then we're just really blending it in. And then it's okay that I put a little bit too much over here because I can go always like back with the concealer brush I was using. Where's my Wild concealer brush? Right here. And just um, be like, excuse me, ma'am, go back in line and just save the day. So, and then blend it out again because we don't want it to look splotchy. So now we're going to go into Slasher again and we're going to apply that on top just because I want it to be like, you know, like a purple, mm, purple hue. Yeah, because I feel like just putting a harsh brown on top is going to make it look weird. We need to keep this purple going, you know? All right, good enough. So we're just going to do the shimmers either way. So I have to blend those shimmers into the outer corner anyway. So yeah, because I got tired of blending. <laughs> so we're going to go straight in with the finger. And we're going to go into Ivy, which is this silver shade. It's right in the middle of the pan. Pan, right in the middle of the palette. So it's kind of like a putty. I went in with the with the brush and I was like, why is nothing coming out onto my eye? Like it looked sheer. And so I guess you have to go in with the finger. And I don't, oh, I don't like using the finger because I am have I have a cut crease. So that's annoying. But if you definitely, like if you, like for me, like I went in with the brush. I was like, I don't care if I don't get as much pigmentation. I'll just go over it with my finger. So what I did was I basically used the shadow ivy like on my on my brush i went ham and i just use that for like you know the outer areas oh, and then later i go back in with my finger and just in case i feel like it needs a little bit more to pop but as you can see it's like wow what a beautiful shimmer you know and it looks even better with your finger but you can definitely still use a brush you just gotta go in like ham like a bunch to get a little bit on the tip of the brush and then you go around where the line is that way you don't get like i don't know like shimmer over the line if you're doing like a cut crease and then what i did is i went in with all in which is oh, just beautiful like golden silver bronze shade like it has like all those combined it just looks so pretty and it gives a little bit more of a gold to it and i love gold so and I'm just gonna put this in that outer section. So it's like in between the purple and the silver, which is so beautiful. Like, ah, I'm dying. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of Ivy and just blend that in with the gold. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab the da -da 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 E136 brush I was using earlier. And we're gonna grab a little bit of slasher. And we're just gonna blend that into the gold right here. Cause as you can tell, this stops like right here. And so I want the purple to be right here as well. <sighs> okay, so now we're gonna go into eyeliner. So I am using the Essence Super Last Eyeliner Deep Black. <sighs> if you don't, if you don't know why I'm <sighs> sighing, it's because this, it's the applicator that is supposed to come off with this. Let me just see if I close it again with it and then reopen it if it comes out together like a family. Oh my God, I have glitter all over my... This is why I don't like using my finger to apply shimmers because they get all over my hand uh, and then it's gonna get all over my face and it's just a mess. There we go, it came out. <laughs> I'm a genius. I'm a problem solver. No one can stop me. Okay, I'm excessive as well. Let's do this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start from the middle of that.
Anything left to say is bye. See you in the next one, guys.